five times. They pick it up twice at Cologne. Not the same case for Maus. They've got to work hard here. Phase, T side star, and I can't wait. Yeah, we know Carrigan tongue like a horse. So let's see what he's able to get away with here. <laughs> Dexter fakey, fakey. opens up with a kill to Rain, but in reality, this is an A play. Carrigan, the centaur up here at B lane, is Ooh. looking to drop down uh -oh. in middle, but unfortunately, Frozen's going to surprise oh. him. The bomb dead out in the open, planting on this A site is literally horrible. And so now, just Brokey in the one on, well, was five, now four. Yeah, easy, right? That's one less man, there's one less shot needed, and Brokey closed with a clutch back on overpass. Can he start strong with one here? I'm not believing, but maybe I should have more faith. Crossfires are plenty, and no one giving any room to Brokey here. They're saying, push, I dare you. And then when contact's made, you're going to get that swing from Temple. Akos ready to close, but he's not even needed. And yeah, even though FaZe throwing a double smoke or a double util execute into B, forcing absolutely everyone out of the A bomb site into B, into middle to set up for retake, and then they walk out A to plant, you'd think, surely, what could go wrong? But plant's got A, Harry, you put it wisely. It's just not doable. It's just not reasonable. No, especially not without a smoke to like yeah. cut off a CT or donut angle. You you need to cut one of those off because you're always open to one or the other. And a lot of the time both. So isn't that cool? Well, even when Valve tried to remove the little gippy gaps, there's always someone nerding it out, finding more. Rain's got a bit of a pixel to spot through. A force up for phase. The Eagles are plenty. Who would you say the least nerdy CS player is, Hugo? Not um, like coolest or anything, just least nerdy. Probably Carrigan, because uh, he oh. wasn't the typical nerdy kid back of at course. school. Of course! How could I forget that? <laughs> it's never going to die, man. It's never going to go. All right, Brokey lining up the yeah the 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 ring on the on the wood on the first dot to the right of yeah now flashing. All right, this is very specific for a oh it's a smoke or oh, sweaty stuff. Brokey with a flash to follow. Here come Phase. Yeah, blinded is a core and into the B side they trickle. Oh, there's a little shutdown from Dexter. That's why you want the long smoke. <laughs> they do three, two out of three. Nice try. Come again, Rain. Oh. Getting spammed. There is a tiny bit you can shoot through there, but Rain doesn't care. Oh He's going to push in deep. He could go A. Oh my lord. Rain's trying to make something happen here. There's oh, a smoke to on. cover the, the, the cross, and that does put the fear into Maus. They all start to scramble into the site, but they still manage to catch him. They don't fall for that little you know, yeah. pretend crossing. Yeah, I don't know what the hope was there for Faze. I guess they just wanted that long kill, but uh, Dexter, open season for him, right? Two smokes down. I like the lineups they had. Sure, they had uh, cave, but they did not have long. And so Dexter's able to just dominate, stop the plant. And even though Rain has a little bit of a round, it's still Mal's. Now, I'm sure they've been pracking it. Getting ready for this as well. Even if they weren't expecting it to be picked into their first series. Oh, one more shot would have done it. Dexter just flexing. Flexter with the D. Rain can't get anything done. Who needs a primary weapon on an anti-eco? Not the in-game leader. Frozen's just going to clean them up with B-Mass. And 3-0 now for Maus as they take a five alive round. His face is by, though. That was already looking good. That's reassuring, right? It was a very close loss. They're probably not happy that they conceded that first map. It was a bit of a comeback, a six-round streak for Maus that eventually fell uh, with them in the 30th round. So they would love to long this series out, take us to Inferno. But will FaZe let them? Oh my goodness, so much utility. Oh, that's not the start you want. Olaf bought to his knees. And more kills coming up in favor of Maus all across the board. There's really not a lot to really talk about within the remit of things being successful for FaZe Clan just yet. Brokey is hoping he can break a hole in this B-bomb site. And oh, Brokey, oh, not quite ready for Beamas. It's a nice try. 
Hello. <gasps> Reigns hit a cheeky timing, but Brokey or oh, is going round and he still is ready for the peak. Now you know, twists up wrap and Beamers having a field day at the B bomb site. Three frags from it, even saves Acor's orb. And we saw a lot more from Acorn near the end of the game. It begs the question, if he started earlier, would Mouse have even taken that map? Maybe. We can only guess. But now, with him bringing that form into the second, uh, a very good map for AWPs. Don't think any way otherwise. You can get a lot done with orbs on Ancient. So th that could be good for, uh, for Acorn, starting on the CT side. It's looking great for Mouse right now. 4-0 and Deagles. Okay, right, all right. Rain. He's been spending a lot of time, yeah. call him the architect. He's been spending a lot of time with the woodwork right now, just figuring out what he can see through, what he can shoot through. From the architect to the carpenter, mate, this guy <laughs> knows Ooh. it all. Bro, yeah, look at some of these little, oh, Ooh. stop it, Rain. Naughty boy. Come on now, you really, it's his birthday as well, look at this. Look at this gap, it's so small. <laughs> Oh, bit of a... I lost having a bit of a rough time in main. Yeah, little lurk out A, not really going too well. FaZe have one smoke. Rain, where's he throwing it? Long or short, really, or cave. Those are your options. And whatever you do, everything else will be open. Acor waiting on the site. It lands behind him on short. Oh, missed shot, that's fine. Got Dexter there, who's been dominating, and through the smoke, he'll... Finish off twist. Now Rain knows Acor's inside the plant coming in. Rain could have Oh my goodness! He's hit the spam, bro! <laughs> Just remembered, what? I want to clarify, that is still broken. That has still not been patched. There is a tiny, easy little bit that you can shoot through. A tiny subsection of that wood. And we've already seen people shoot through it twice. So. They know what's working. They've all working. been inventing angles over yeah. the player break. Everyone just went, look, boys, this is as close as we're going to get to a holiday. Log on to the new map, right? Run around, enjoy yourself for a couple of days, and then I want you researching angles. I want you researching spam spots. Because they're all coming up with stuff. I've seen things in rain that I didn't know were even penetrable. Yeah. Get penetrated. Whew. Good birthday, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Twist oh, running yeah. to the Molotov. The nade slows him down. He's down to 20, but he does make it there alive. Top mid smokes in. Twists. Yeah, he may have this, but got a smoke off Donut. The fear of what could be there. Oh, Rain turns around and Dexter still hits the headshot. Capable is Dexter. We talked about his fragging potential. It's showing up. It's more than potential. It's profitable right now. 11 and 2. Locking phase out of B round after round. That's feel, that feels like where most of these T rounds should be ending up. Like B does feel like the best site to be attacking, to be holding off in post plants. Actually, I, I, that's a lie. A, a is good for post plants, but at the same time, it's getting the plants that is the problem as we've already talked about. So yeah, Dexter's keeping you out of B. If that was your game plan, you might have to move away from it. He's having a game, Harry. Twist now given the AWP. Low health. Olaf still 0-5, dead on these lurks. Now he might be joined by his team. Yeah, I hope Olaf has a bit of a better time this time around. Every time he's tried to go out main, he has been deleted. So let's see, will he fare any better with the rest of the gang around him? Oh, oh that's nice. the lineup. Olaf takes the brunt of the damage. Of course he does, but it's ugly even for the rest of the gang. Look at them health bars, mate. Mm. Oh, frozen with the swing. And it's all coming up Mouse right now. b is going to lock it in. Wow. Six and O. Oh. And FaZe, they might have made a blunder picking this. Concerned being a new map. And Kenzie is so good at doing that, right? Like get, walking through those red smokes, yeah. hitting timings. Uh, and, and yeah, they, they seem to have that, this map kind of locked down right now. We saw it, you know, Cole floated it in that series. Fours destroyed them. And then Cole just kept banning like, yep, nope, we don't want this. And I think that's a, a mind game in this uh, tournament, right? Like, who, if you're not picking it, if you're floating it, you might be prepared. And Mal certainly have fallen into that category. Oh my goodness. Maybe they wanted to save it for later in the tournament, but right now, Jakey's doing a great job of catching every single kill. 
And, well, now it's just Olaf on his way out, breaking his silent streak. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to hide. Yeah, this, uh, it's funny, because I'll go back to that. Like, Mal's probably just wanted to keep this in their back pocket. Like, yeah, man, we'll, we'll bring it out later. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll pick it in the playoffs or, but yeah, they just, their trap, their trap card is, uh, is already out there on the table, face up. But that's, uh, it's a good time to bring it out, Harry, because at the end of the day, FaZe are up a map in the series and yeah, just laughing all the way to the bank for Mitha. It's a 7-0 strong start. What could go wrong? It's insane because, like, back at Cologne, mate, FaZe got wins versus yeah. Gambit and Heroic here. Like, those are legit wins to pick up. Yeah. That's why they've been keen for it. Maybe Mal's have trawled the demos or do the data themselves. Oh. Okay, that's one, but that's really where, you know, a play into A ends. Ah! Dexter's having fun, 12 and 2, <laughs> somehow lives against the odds. Botched donut smoke is there, there as well. I don't know if it was, I don't, I don't know where it came from. I don't know if it got blocked or something, but uh, that's something, you know, donut smoke is never going to get into this A site, man. Look at I, the um, org. I, yeah. I love Rops in this position because, like, Ugh. oh, it's it's so infuriating. Right. It's so infuriating. Having a donut player that's like as stable as, as a Rops is, right? Someone who yeah. can just anchor a position and will not give up an inch of ground and will play it to perfection is so irritating. And then, even when FaZe have attempted these mid to bees, Rops uh, frequently is just running ahead of the smoke, running through the donut smoke and fighting them in tandem with his mid player uh, in, in the form of Frozen. This round, there's even more kind of initiative used over towards A. Rops and, uh, and Acor are creeping up through main, getting this info that there's no one here, and maybe even blindsiding Olaf oh, Meister no. as he late lurks middle. Poor Olaf, man. He's just not having a fun time right now, and it's not going to get any better, even if he gets out mid. Frozen might be there first. A flash over mid from A. Frozen won't activate because Rops has got the round in the palm of his hand. And now you know it's B. You've seen him climbing up there, unaware. Everyone's ready. Flash B for Dexter. Finally dead. The flash does nothing. Carrigan was close. Acor, though, hasn't really had to do a lot this game, but hits the shots he needs. And now he needs to hit some shots. It's up in the air. Six to the landing. The round's not so up in the air right now. That smoke will at least allow for a bomb plant to come in. FaZe have not ever really even been in this position. Ooh. So now with a bomb plant down, will ah. that tip the scales enough? Dexter has set up Acor for that kill perfectly, and Brokey has now got to win the 1v2. He's wrapping behind, he's wrapping them both, and he lets them in to his bomb site. Oh, it's not for him. Brokey, it's not planted for you. So he's got to make contact before they get there. Down with Acor. Just Rops left to oh, beat. No. He's on the bomb. He's sticking it. Brokey, you're not getting given respect. You need this. And oh, oh no scope. It was so Three close. In the round. It was so damn close. you got to wonder, what would have happened if he stuck it? Maybe the same result? Maybe not. Very, very close, though. Bro middle as well in a couple of rounds here and there. But a lot of the teams that I've seen play this, you know, they don't proactively always go to this mid control as like a focal point on the CT side. You have a donut player who's like watching it. You have guys who can uh, attack it from, from the lane as well. But very rarely as consistently as this from straight out of spawn, do you have an effort to contain these mid efforts? Because I think more often than not, like T's are able to long this fight out in middle, but Mao's have got some really nice crossfires, some nice utility to force you out of mid. I think another issue as well is that like lane control Whoa. hasn't really belonged to FaZe. Even True. when they get it, they're very boxed in. They yeah. can never get past the cave. There's always Molotovs that slow down the pace at which they're taking lane. So it's like, it's a joint effort from mid and B, yeah. but it's doing a great job of denying this mid control to FaZe Clan. Yeah, it's a good point you make there, and it's not because Mal's are even taking ramp out of spawn either, which is even more impressive that they can keep FaZe out of this position. Well, now FaZe are trying to get into B, but it's coming at a cost. Dexter traded, but four on three is fine for Mal's. B-Mal's they don't know about. Top team ready to peek with a flashbang, and so he shout, Acor wall bangs out through the pillar into the bomb player and now yeah clean up crew is in dispatched on duty and nine to one mouse sports immediately bite back onto phases one round yeah that i mean wallbang through totem sheesh dude not totem 
but, you know, pillar. So often, mate, these CT side rounds, like, the element of, like, craziness about them is that you're having to worry about, like, oh, are we getting oh, okay. lurked on? Is anyone behind us, right? Like, what's happening? I'm gonna say, I didn't think you could shoot through that anyway. It was the corner of the wall. But it's not, it's not a worry that House have ever really had. You know, they're, yeah. they're able to run players over from A the moment they see dudes outside of B. And the B hold's been great as well. Dexter is a pillar of consistency at the B bomb site. I think this is kind of speaking volumes now. Yeah. Like you're going back to a B rush. Have we even seen T's in cave in this game other than like, you know, maybe in clutches? No, and that's pretty interesting. FaZe seemed elect to, to smoke it off a lot. Yeah. Um, I wonder if we're going to see more of an effort to take it now. Oh, there is dear. this double ramp push, but oh, it's not clean. They get out with one, Frozen dies in middle, and now back in this A site. Rops has got to try and stand the test of time. He's getting pressure through the donor. Down he goes hey. to the Deagle and twists. The bomb is going all the way back through main on Carrigan. It's a very long rotate, so it's going to give time to Mouse to get set up here. Oh no, Bimas has gone through. Good luck planting. It's not happening. Not today. Not ever. Bimas. Oh, he might get double faced. Twist chasing him down. And he's got one. Low ammo. Can't. Oh my goodness, he can. Final bullet. I thought he was dead with two shots in the mag, but he still takes down the bomb planter. The man tasked with doing so. 1 and 11 for Carrigan. 1 and 10 for FaZe. My god. Look at this. Oh, sickening. No one respects smoke, uh, smokes in this map. Certainly not on that A site. Oh, Acorn, we know he's got the moves, but have you got the moves? Like Acorn, yes. Oh, oh, the flash, that's pretty brutal. Frozen's gonna try help out, and now he's out of there like a speed demon. Keeping it in the advantage of Mouse, and this is this double donut setup that I've been talking Ooh. about. I've rubbed some frozen, but this time it's dismantled. That's more what phase one, right? They want to get fought in middle. They want to get picked so they can start grouping and hitting bomb sites. Every round you you take mid, you get given nothing, and you have to group in five v fives in executes. That's not going to work. Mouse are so mobile though. Dexter cleans out all of middle. He's checking donuts. Make sure it's not an A play. What are oh, they reading into this? Very wrong. B Mass has moved out of his bomb site. I think Dexter in a minute is going to make that call. Uh, buddy, watch out B. And oh no, they're going to work out the hard way. Complete miss gamble there. B Mass goes back. He has a Molotov. Maybe you can stall the plant out. Let's see if he's got lineups. His phase are crossing in. They smoke him off. Oh. Uh, disrespecting smokes has been the story of this CT side. If they always expect some level of respect, Dexter's gone through as well. And oh, he hears the footsteps. Oh. Can't quite get past Olaf Meister, who will close it out. Finally. FaZe get themselves a second when you take Olaf away from main. You put him into the mid rounds, and he's not just getting picked as that first man to fall. He does manage to find frags and find impact to go along with it. Yeah, wild round for Acor, right? He had the support of Molotovs in middle. He's able to jump that ledge. It's not an easy jump, FYI. You see teams like Astralis even run boosting in that before. I saw on a pro tip, uh, but he just hits it solo and takes a quick kill. Yeah, I still, that's kind of what phase one, as I say. Mouse might move away from these aggressive mid rounds. Look at this bait setup. acor has got a gap and he's legged Brokey. And then when he runs back and can seize his position, they'll never know about Frozen. Oh my goodness. By like lambs to the slaughter. There they go. Carrigan, dead. Rops follows up. And it's those two slow performers starting slow again. I mean, now with Acor in Temple, this is like, ah. oh my god. Don't worry, Rops has got him. <laughs> Just like both these players are very, very low. Oh, Molly is going to burn Rops out. But as I was saying, the AWP in Temple, this is an AWP as paradise. It's a lovely spot to be in. You can get so annoying with some of those angles. And so Brokey is out of there. All the way back through T spawn. He's going to decide against it. I would have loved to have seen him run into the water. Yeah, it's just a long way away. Unfortunately, Harry, I have a feeling he might just be prolonging the inevitable. There it is, the inevitable, frozen. 
ices him in that A site. And 11 to 2. Feels like nothing can go wrong for Mal's. Feels like Inferno is destined to be. It's bait as well. We've been talking about it, Harry. It feels like the two rounds, FaZe have actually tried to walk that red. There's been a Mal's player there. But in any of the other rounds, there's no one there. Getting very unfortunate with some of these reads. More mid-control for Maus, or at least temporarily. Frozen throws a molly and retreats back to Donut. Safe keeping. Another A execute. Let's see if this goes better. Do we have FaZe coming in on the mid? Do we have a Lurker here? Is it just going to be everyone in main? Because those are the kind of rounds that we've just seen fail. I feel like you need that pressure on B or a lurking mid, yeah. anything. And I mean, don't have it right now. What well, Sabimas has just been flashed out of lane to peak middle. And like once he gets the info that lane looks clear, mid looked clear on that peak, look, you're already seeing an early yeah. rotation out of Dexter. Uh -oh. So much info just got grabbed on the back of that peak. And now Ooh. they know it's this A play. It's not just the guys in the site you've got to worry about. It's these smoke spams. It's the util that oh. can come through to Boost. slow this down. I was wondering if they were going to assemble a quick Whoa, boost. Okay. Jeez, Robs, leave him alone. Jeez. Leave FaZe Clan alone. And that's it. It's a flawless round for Mao Sports. 12 to 2. A Hail Mary A play. And really, uh, kind of stuck for words here, Hugo, to describe this one. Yeah. Impressive out of Mao Sports, though, it's right? This, this was a map. When we saw them play it back at the Cologne play-ins, it looked like it could have been a real vulnerability for them. Yeah, FaZe, I wonder if they're going to ever pick into it again, Harry. <laughs> this is not a game you forget easily, especially after the extremely competitive first map with highs and lows. Well, now it's just lows, man. 2 to 12. Third round would be nice, you know, if you, if you are thinking still about comebacks uh, and about the prospect of it. Yeah, I mean, on the upside, FaZe have helped everyone else in the group by now showing this this trump yeah. card of uh, evasion for Maus. Yeah. We haven't even seen their T-Site. We won't see much of it. That's even more reassuring for Maus. It gets safe strats for later games if anyone wants to face them. That's a good kill from Rain, but he can't follow up. And like you said, lane control, it's all Maus, man. It's just all theirs. Oh my god, be Ma nice. Yeah, back through spawn. Does he know? Oh! Now he does. The hard way. That was the bomb spotted as well. Yeah, you gotta double back. But that's exactly what Maus are expecting. And these are the kind of rounds that FaZe actually kind of won. Uh, they've not had 3v3s that have slowed down and they can reset, pick a bomb site. It's weird because info was grabbed by BMAS, but it's fine because Maus has split one per position. So what do FaZe do with this? These are the kind of rounds you dream for as an in-game leader. You've got to make the most of the moment. Oh my. Well, that's now the pace picked up in towards B. Frozen already here. Calling for Rops to move around. I don't think I'm going to be walking smokes in this one. Nade will do damage on to... No, it won't. Second one will. But they've knocked out Frozen. And so it's left to Rops. Faze might have a chance to find three at the end of this first half. Now, that's not a lot. Three is not a very big number. Oh, oh and now it feels as good as what done. about one? <laughs> is one a big number? One's not a great number either. Oh, well, Rops, you gave it your best in this one. There it is, Carrigan. And you said saving strats, Harry. Well, if they can clean this up with a quick four win round wins on the T side, we might see nothing from Maus, and that's uh, exactly what they want. Quick util towards B. Got a molly in the corner as well. Already, this is entirely different to how FaZe attempted to take B yeah, every time they did it. we never saw there was... cave control. We never saw proper B executes. That smoke's weird. It's like deep in CT to cut rotate. It's not going to stop FaZe from fighting for the bomb site though. They actually have a smoke to lock out cave. Even a Molotov to throw on the bomb, but it's on Carrigan all the way back in A. Here come Maus. Smoke down in the mouth of cave. Oh That's the bomb going out through it, but no one else committed to the push. They're going to try and go through together, but Rain with the taps. Olaf and Twists alongside him. And oh, oh my, Froki. Oh my goodness. Olaf just saved Frozen. Dexter, 1v5, not going to happen. Olaf with three to open up this pistol. Nah, it's just CT side of map, guys. Don't worry about it. CT side of map. It's fine. 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was a variance, right? Miles have clearly been working on it. They've got a, an idea there. But as we know, Harry, as we often say, the old cliche, pra Prax, very different to officials. What can go right in a scrim can go very wrong in the server. But like you said, yeah, very different approach to be. We didn't see Cave ever get taken by FaZe. Yeah, you know, I kind of now that we have a Glock round, I just yeah, want to talk, talk about, about yeah, why I'm not big it. into that. We were, yeah. we were talking about it in the break. I really do not like that the only B rounds we saw out of FaZe Clan, they threw this double smoke setup. And if I said double smoke B take, you'd think, oh, they're smoking short and long and yeah. they're, and they're uh, attacking like that. That's how pretty much every other team does it. But FaZe, they, they choose to smoke. Sure, and, and Olaf, Cave. <laughs> Olaf boost, eat your heart out. What on earth? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bam. But yeah, so they, they chose to smoke Short and Cave and then not play into Cave at yeah. all. And that feels a bit weird to me because while the Cave play, you know, will struggle at holding down the site, you're essentially giving him an avenue to play into the retake. And, you know, most teams smoke off Short and Long because it gives you that path up through ramp. You then couple that with like a late Cave lurk and you're able to pincer the B-bomb site. So now, this was never meant to be this close. This was a Glock round. But luckily enough, Olaf Meister keeps it all under control. Yeah. To finish your thought there, it'd be nice to see a T-side round. I hope Miles give us one where it's more focused on that going up the ramp with the short and long smoke. The cave player then has to pick whether they want to play for themselves in cave or defend the bomb site with their teammates who are smoked off. And basically yeah. what that means is you can isolate the cave that player, yeah. send in yes. a late cave lurk, backstab him, or front stabbing with a ramp play with yeah, the majority no, yeah, of your players. It, it, ju it just gives you a chance That's to like 3v1 a guy in cave. So yeah, no, 100%. Uh, yeah, yeah, it felt a bit weird. It felt a bit weird. But hey, maybe we get to see some uh, executes out of mouths to, to compare, to contrast, to see what these guys have been working on. Because clearly right now they look more ready for this map than FaZe ever were. Is that going to hold true? Or were FaZe just a seat decided team after all? Here we go. They're just walking the contact plate. Not a single smoke in sight, mate. They're just up through the ramp and fighting in the open. Ah. Ah, well, it's kind of a mixed bag. We'll That's why you it. smoke long. That's why you smoke long. Right now, Miles is smoking mids, man. It's just not doing anything for them. One on yeah, five. Yeah, no, when, when the ad said smoking was bad, this isn't what they meant by it. You know, like, uh, ooh, it just rops left alive now in the one on five. Hmm. Mouths at least have room, you know, like, I, I doubt anyone's looking at this going, oh, well, this is 100% a phase comeback right now, but no. you might find yourself believing once the scales tip a little bit further, this first T-side rifle round kind of falling on deaf ears. But it wasn't the most tactical of plays, shall we say. It no. was just a contact play up B-Ramp, see what you can get away with. Exactly, and I think that's what a lot of these T-side rounds are going to be on Ancient. They were for phase, they are for Miles already. Like, see what you can get away with. See, you know, can you push the boat out? Can you keep it casual? Can you keep it clean? Drops. He can't. One frag, it looked lovely, but no more. Six rounds for phase, and yeah, like you said, not worried yet. Haven't seen an A attack, haven't seen a mid take. Lots of things left to show for Miles. But the one thing, if this game has taught you anything, Harry, just smoke long, lol. Just smoke long. Well, they though. <laughs> Not in this round, maybe in the next. They're set towards mid on three. Twists with a nade that should be dirty. And Acor yeah. takes the bulk of it. Oh my. <laughs> okay. Okay. Frozen's Deagle. Oh my goodness. Three kills in the blink of an eye from Frozen. This was not meant to be a mouse oh. sports round, but now it's only Brokey left. And at this point, it's like an Easter egg hunt. Figure out where he is and run away. That's not really how they work, but it's like, a, yeah, you know, find the needle in a haystack. Wait, no, that's... I don't know where I'm going with the metaphor. No, it's fine. It's like finding... Why would you run with it if you don't have an answer? A needle, a hay and a needle stack. There maybe. we go. Yeah. Let's see. 
Womp, womp. Dexter gonna hold on. But give me that frozen replay. Run that back and inject it straight into my veins. I want to see it again. Doctor's orders. Look at this, right? You think, oh, that's pretty nice. You think you can't possibly do it again. And then you go, then you go, whoop. And then you go, well, you know, that's two out of three. That's pretty good. Oh, wait, hang on a moment. Carrigan, never ready for that. She sends him back to the Shadow Realm. Yeah, that's, uh, that's one way to lock in a freebie there for Miles. They were never supposed to win that round, but individuals coming big and Frozen start strong yet again. Free smokes the Molotov in expectation and uses that to evade capture, running back. Dexter peeking with Frozen's flasher. And Faze spread pretty thin right now. Reigns up in cave. He has the angles, he has the gaps. Oh, he's even got them on CT side, man. This this guy. Oh dear. He's got everything. Very sweaty stuff for Rain. We thought it was precipitation. Turns out it's just perspiration. Mouse are already a lot more keen to work this mid control for all it's worth. They're going to cross up onto lane and use it to hit this B bomb site. Two players here. It's two of the bigger rifles. Rain with the Famous and Olaf with the Org. Rain's going to be the first point of contact. And they're boosting up and over. Still, he's good for that. And as they flash through, maybe could have been more. But Rops will not give him the room nor the respect. Now tuned into this cave position. Olaf Meister. Won't give it up yet. Ooh. Carrigan's ramp flank finds one as well. Beamass needs this trade or else the round is stolen away. With Dexter dead in the sight, Carrigan has sealed the deal on seven for FaZe Clan. And so this gap, you know, it was the widest of margins, slowly but surely closing on up. Yeah, the deco for Miles, it felt like, you know, that would have resounding consequences considering FaZe's follow-up by was pretty sh uh, shabby, to be honest. Like, it had... I wasn't going anywhere but shabby there. I don't look at me. No, oh, yeah. Uh, it was pretty shabby. And, you know, FaZe still get it done. Nice little retake there. Deagle, Famas, you know, some weak weapons, but they make it work. And, you know, that's fine. Maybe the gap can get closed. 4 to 1 in the CT side already. A little mishap against the Deeks, but FaZe don't want to repeat it. Double mid, but not fighting for it, as is tradition. Brokey's holding the top, and Twist can lead back. In fact, it will be Brokey rotating. You hear a lot of steps in B lane, but these are only B lane players heading mid. Brokey watching for it. Puggers call it heaven, I call it ledge. Whatever it is, they drop into mid. Oh, 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 that's a lot of damage. What positions this yeah. guy's come up with? I, I said it was sweaty, right? And he's proven it. He is proving it. Oh, oh twist. Uh, this is... Uh, it, it could just be a one and done spot. And if that's the case, this a bomb site could get compromised oh, right away. One and done oh, could even be no. hopeful. You don't know the angle. No, it's not as clear as you think. Twists with the double. Thought you cleared it. You thought. But you thought wrong. And now Bemas. Well, he has to reclaim one of these. Is that going to be enough of these? Olaf moving into the cave. Rop's still in main, trying to sell the A-fake. This can't afford to be another lurk that just falls on deaf ears. If he can keep players away from this B-site, maybe he gives his teammates enough room. It all hinges on him going out early, oh, not massive. looking to repeat those mistakes of overpass. And look, oh, it shuffled ah. these B players out of position. That is a much prettier lurk from Rops. It has enabled the B-plant to come in. And right now, FaZe are on a wild goose chase. They're hunting down a kill that won't come their way just yet. He will on his own time, on his own dime, and head in the bottom of mid. It's not enough. But that's not enough to entice them back in. I'm very surprised they give that one up. It's it's coming down to money more than anything, but the, the bomb wasn't even half ticked when they got the kill. They definitely could have given it uh, some consideration, but they want the weapons, they want the money, or they want to play for the next gun round, and fair enough for FaZe. Still a surprise with the scoreline this top heavy. And what a great fake for Rops again, like you said, just one kill.
And then everyone panics. Uh, Orb for Brokey runs back after Smoking Cave. Olaf turns his back to the smoke as he gets walked. Like, that's unlucky, sure. If he just stayed in his spot in the corner, the back of the bomb site would have been fine. And I think it all started like this with a 5 on 3, and then it fell apart. Acor didn't check the corner deep enough. Those angles in Donut Man, 50 50. Unlucky. Go next. Mouse with a quick tack before this fire. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, was. Who doesn't love a Mag 7? All right. Forced to use smokes on Molotovs. Boost goes both ways, baby. Brokey on Timothy top of his he a teammate's head gets that pick down onto the box. That's one way to do it. Rain, stop! Whoa. Chill out! <laughs> How is he doing this? Like, he saw the scaffolding and he just cracked his knuckles. Like, well, time to get to work. Shit. You know, build his vest on. Shit. He's out there all night, all day. Shit carpentry, mate. <laughs> Got there in the end, didn't I? Sorry, mate. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. I'm interrupting you. It's all good. It works. It oh, tracks. Oh, nice volley, though, buddy. Oh, <laughs> oh. Yeah, Rain can do better work with his hands. Taking down Acor first off the boost. Broke his back to B with the orb. Mao's moving to middle. A lot of room here. Twists. Can't you know? You can't do the same play twice. Can't tuck what? in the same corner. He's got to fight for it this time. At least get that info. So this is what I talk about. Like this is how so many teams address this mid in the control, right? They just have a donut player trying to hold on to it, and Ooh. with him dismantled right away, the pressure is now on A. Are they ready for Carrigan up in main? He's going to get out of there. No, can't quite escape the clutches of Rops. Bomb going down. The fun never stops. They're putting in the numbers. Olaf going through, and he spots them up on the boost. Who is it still in the sight? Takes the head off of Olaf Meister, and they don't know where Beamass is. Oy, oy. That's the problem. The alarm bells are going off. They're saying, where is Beamass? He could be the guy that steals this round away. So right now, they need to deal bye with bye. Frozen. There's the first man gone, and now they should be ready for this swing, but oh, they're not. No. They take their eyes off the prize. Beamass in with a chance. Brokey running out of time. He does have the kit, but miss <laughs> shot. Beamass with the swing, and oh. 15 to Mouse Sports. One away from taking us to Inferno. That that feels good for BMAS, right? Him v Brokey is always, a, is always a fun affair, but it was Brokey to close out overpass by 1v1ing BMAS and running through a smoke. BMAS calls. He knows Brokey very well. He's, you're not sticking that bomb. I know you, man. You're not sticking that bomb. And yeah, even though Brokey starts strong, falls in the 1v1, and it's going to be Miles locking in map point. Inferno has never felt so viable. It's just pistols for phase. Oh. Yeah, you don't want to rest in the molly for too long. Carrigan's got a backstab, but does he go okay. through? He's thinking oh, Dave. shot in the back oh, of the head. Oh, no, no, no. Spamming the smoke. Not going to happen. Bye-bye. Oh. Run it back, boys. And Rops is all the way up in A. Yes. Yes. And all oh, the kills are happening at B. Rops has created this big void at A. He's rushed the A hole that he has created. And he's forced all these rotations out of phase clan. He's looking to put Ooh. an end to the game right now. And he certainly might, unless Rain can win a 1v5 turned one on four. They know all about him. They know his postcode, his mother's maiden name. Ooh. And he's brought down low. But this should be the end of the line for FaZe Clan. Yeah. And indeed.